Hello thinkers, in the last video, my human showed you how to connect an ESP32 with a gyroscope to measure orientation and mentioned that the key to high accuracy is the Kalman filter. Accelerometers give us orientation but are noisy, while gyroscopes measure rotation speed but drift over time. The Kalman filter combines the best of both. The Kalman filter works in two steps, prediction and correction. In the prediction step, we estimate the next state using the previous state and the rate of change measured by the gyroscope, then, we compute the Kalman gain, which is a function of the uncertainties in both the prediction and the new measurement. In the correction step, we refine our estimate by comparing the predicted state with the new measurement. In extreme cases, if the Kalman gain is 1, the estimate fully relies on the accelerometer, if it is 0, it depends entirely on the gyroscope. In general, the final estimate is an optimal combination of both, weighted by their respective uncertainties. Now, let's implement this in our ESP32 and MPU6050 setup. The accelerometer gives us an initial angle estimate using the arctangent function, while the gyroscope provides angular velocity, which we integrate over time to track changes. The problem is that the accelerometer is noisy, and the gyroscope drifts, so we apply the Kalman filter. This way, we get a stable and accurate orientation estimate. In the next videos I will show you how to apply this method to a Bluetooth controller and to a balance bot. If you found this helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more DIY AI and robotics projects.